OpenAI's upcoming model, GPT-5, is official, a game changer in language processing. GPT-5 tops its predecessors. It's faster, more accurate, and feature-packed. These features will redefine the world forever. GPT-4 was released in March 2023, and it has amazed us with its impressive capabilities. The architecture of the model includes graph neural networks and attention mechanisms. This enables it to process and generate language with improved efficiency and accuracy compared to previous versions. It can also understand and generate more nuanced and complex language structures, such as sarcasm and irony, and produce more coherent and logical responses. It supports over 26 languages, including low-resource languages such as Latvian, Welsh, and Swahili. It can also accept both text and image inputs, which allows it to perform multimodal tasks, such as generating code from sketches or creating images from descriptions. But the AI community is already curious about its successor, GPT-5. There were rumors about GPT-5 releasing by the end of the year, based on a tweet by Siki Chen, the CEO of Runway. On the 27th of March, 2023, he wrote, I have been told that GPT-5 is scheduled to complete training this December and that OpenAI expects it to achieve AGI, which means we will all hotly debate as to whether it actually achieves AGI, which means it will. This tweet brought a lot of attention to the development of the new GPT model and people started to question the CEO of OpenAI, Sam Altman, about the release of this new beast. Sam quickly smashed the rumors and confirmed at an MIT event in April that they are not training GPT-5. An earlier version of the letter claimed that OpenAI is training GPT-5 right now. We are not and won't for some time. Um, so in that sense, it was sort of silly. But we are doing other things on top of GPT-4 that I think have all sorts of safety issues that are important to address and were totally left out of the letter. So I think moving with caution and an increasing rigor for safety issues is really important. The letter, I don't think, is the optimal way to address it. Despite this, OpenAI did file a trademark for GPT-5 with the USPTO in July 2023, sparking new speculations. When we take a look at this document, we can find some interesting information. It's divided into two main parts. The first part lists the categories of downloadable computer programs and software that the trademark covers. And the second part lists the services that the trademark owner provides online using the software. In this document, some sections request permission to process video and audio files, which suggests that the technology behind GPT-5 is capable of more than just analyzing text and images, which means that this model can also watch videos and listen to audio files as well as process and generate them. Experts predict the release of GPT-4.5 before GPT-5. This intermediate version, scheduled for October 2023, bridges the gap between GPT-4 and GPT-5. The update promises to enhance the model's abilities by adding multimodal analysis of both images and text. OpenAI showcased GPT-4's multimodal potential through a live stream event in March 2023. Here are a few examples that show how great GPT-4 is at understanding images. The GPT-4 model is impressive. Not only can it read graphs and accurately provide insights, but it can also analyze pictures, recognize the language, and respond with accurate answers in English. Moreover, it even has a sense of humor, understanding the subtle nuances of memes and providing amusing answers that make us laugh. This level of intelligence makes GPT-4 a very powerful tool for language understanding. OpenAI is currently dedicating efforts to perfecting GPT-4 before advancing to GPT-5. These endeavors involve tackling challenges such as high inference time, costly running expenses, and limited API access. While enhancing computing efficiency and introducing new features, GPT-5 will prioritize reliable performance. Witnessing OpenAI's progress is captivating, particularly with the recent launch of ChatGPT plugins and the beta release of Code Interpreter. Although GPT-4 no longer supports internet browsing, GPT-5 holds promising prospects for the future. Now, Let's talk about what we can expect from GPT-5. One of the key areas in improvement in GPT-5 is its ability to reduce hallucination, which essentially means generating output 
that is not based on the input data. In simple words, generating wrong and fake information. GPT-4 has already made significant improvements in this area, scoring 40% higher than GPT-3.5 in internal adversarial designed factual evaluations across all nine categories. This means that it's now 82% less likely to produce inaccurate or disallowed content. With GPT-5 expected to reduce hallucination to less than 10%, we can look forward to a more reliable and trustworthy AI-powered assistant. Running GPT-4 can be quite costly and time-consuming, which is something that OpenAI needs to address in the development of GPT-5. The goal should be to make the model more efficient in terms of computing resources, without sacrificing the quality of its output. GPT-4 can be quite expensive to run, at a rate of 3 cents per 1k tokens, and the inference time can be quite long. In contrast, the older GPT-3.5 Turbo model is significantly cheaper, at only a fifth of a cent, or $0.002 per 1k tokens, making it a much more cost-effective option. It's disappointing to hear that developers are experiencing issues with GPT-4 API calls frequently stopping and having to resort to the older GPT-3.5 model for production. OpenAI needs to focus on improving the performance of the upcoming GPT-5 model to address these concerns and ensure a smoother experience for users. Hopefully, the development team will prioritize making the model more efficient and reliable while maintaining the high quality of its output. While GPT-4 is a multi-mode AI model dealing with images and texts, GPT-5 is expected to take a giant leap forward. It might be able to interlink data streams from different modalities, including text, audio, images, video, depth data, and temperature. One of the most anticipated features of GPT-5 is long-term memory support. It's expected that GPT-5 might provide a much larger context length, enabling AI characters to remember your persona and memories for years years. This could lead to a variety of new AI applications, from loading libraries of books and text documents in a single context window, to creating AI friends with memory recall. Artificial General Intelligence AGI, represents the future of AI systems, surpassing human intelligence. In a February 2023 blog post, Sam Altman, CEO of OpenAI, delved into the potential benefits AGI offers humanity. There is a lot of concern surrounding OpenAI's upcoming GPU. GPT-5 model as it has the potential to reach AGI. This has caused some notable figures such as Elon Musk, Steve Wozniak, Andrew Yang, and Yuval Noah Harari to call for a stop to large AI experiments as early as March 2023. If GPT-5 does end up achieving AGI, there may be even more intense examination and oversight, which could lead to further postponements in its public release. The future of this technology is uncertain, and there may be increased scrutiny and regulation to come, but we don't know exactly where AI is going. What could happen if GPT-5 achieves AGI? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Altman shared his opinion on the effects of AGI in this clip. I think that it is going to be a much fuzzier boundary for you know, getting to self-improvement or or not. Um, I think what will happen is that more and more of the improvement loop will be aided by AIs, but humans will still be driving it. And it's going to go like that for a long time. And there's like a whole bunch of other things that never believed in the like one day or one month takeoff um, for, for a bunch of reasons, but like one of which is how incredibly long it takes to build new data centers, bigger data centers. Like even if we knew how to do it right now, just like waiting for the concrete to dry, getting the power into the building, this stuff takes a while. But I think what will happen is humans will be more and more augmented and be able to do things in the world faster and faster. It will not somehow, like most of these things don't end up working out quite like the sci-fi books and neither will this one, but the rate of change in the world will increase forever more from here as humans get better and better tools. AGI has the potential to give everyone incredible new capabilities. We can imagine a world where all of us have access to help with almost any cognitive task, providing a great force multiplier for human ingenuity and creativity. AGI can also be valuable in various domains, such as healthcare, education, science, art, and entertainment. It can help us diagnose diseases, discover new drugs, teach new skills, create new forms of expression, 
in and more. On the other hand, AGI also comes with a serious risk of misuse, drastic accidents, and societal disruption. AGI could displace many jobs and create economic inequality. It could cause ethical dilemmas and moral conflicts. It could even pose existential threats and create conflicts. If it surpasses human intelligence, it could control or harm us. I think if this technology goes wrong, it can go quite wrong. Uh, and we want to be vocal about that. We want to work with the government to prevent that from happening. But we, we try to be very clear eyed about what the downside case is and the work that we have to do to mitigate that. Therefore, it's crucial to develop ethical guidelines and governance mechanisms for AGI's safe and responsible development and deployment. We need to ensure that AGI aligns with human values and goals, respects human rights and dignity, and promotes human well-being and flourishing. Watch these videos as well. Hit that subscribe button, like, and drop a comment below to let us know your thoughts.